Hi guys, as chaos in the financial markets continues, as the economy gets worse, as fiat money nears its eventual collapse, people will become interested in investing in gold. I recommend every person owns at least one ounce of gold. If you divide the total stores of above ground gold in the world, divide that by the world's population, you get to something like one ounce. So if you want to own your share of the world's gold, Try and buy at least one ounce of gold. Easier said than done. Gold is quite expensive. I believe it's only going to get increase in value as the situation unfolds, as the as the economy gets worse, and as more and more people fly into safety, people are going to start wanting buying gold. How do you avoid counterfeit or fake coins? This is the big question. Now, traditionally with gold, a good way to do it, if you measure the coin's dimensions, i.e. measure the diameter, then you measure the width, and then you weigh it, Using that, that generally verifies a real gold coin because gold's a very dense metal. If the dimensions are correct and the weight is correct, gold being very dense is very difficult to counterfeit in that regard. However, it could be tungsten. It could be tungsten and also silver coins are very difficult to check using weight and dimensions as well because silver being lighter than gold, uh, there's many more metals that you could put into a silver coin to uh, essentially fake it the, the weight and the dimensions will still come up correct so the good thing about phones obviously there's an endless supply of apps out there there's many many apps out there um I just got a few here one's called pingcoin pingcoin has a great uh, user interface however it doesn't have a huge library of coins to check against i mean it does have the big ones it has crew grounds like this it has maples uh, precious coin tester this app has a big catalog of gold and silver coins to test against. However, it's not as easy to use. So my preference is pin coin. If it's a coin that I know is gonna be on there, a standard one, a maple, um, a Kruger Rand. Precious coin test has loads and loads of coins, or you have something just uh, like a spectrum analyzer. So this doesn't know anything about coins. However, if you know the resonating frequency of the coin you're analyzing, you can just use basic uh, a spectrum analyzer. or we'll use pin coin because it's the easiest and uh, beginner friendly one to use. So you open up the app, you go down to your coin. So this is a crew grand or one ounce crew grand. So we collect crew grand one ounce. All the phone's gonna do now is gonna listen very carefully. And if it gets the correct uh, resonating frequencies, when we tap it with this plastic pen, it's gonna tell us if it's a real coin or not. So let's start the app. Okay, authentic crew grand. Now, if this was Tugstein, if this was any other metal, well, basically, if there's any other metal besides tungsten, the dimensions and the weight would be wrong because it needs to be a very, very dense metal for that to be correct. But if this was tungsten filled, the frequency that this coin would resonate at would not be correct. So there you go. Authentic Kruger Rand. This is another string to your bow in verifying that your coins are real. Um, one of the reasons I like coins over bars is because this test doesn't really work well or if at all on a bar but coins do because they're round they're uniform no matter where you tap them you get that glorious ring of gold or silver works on gold and silver so there you go that's just another string to your bow guys um i mean when i started getting into buying gold i was very hesitant about buying you know a counterfeit coin i tried to go to reputable dealers i tried to go to places where you know hopefully it's been correctly assayed but app on your phone Wasn't quite a perfect hit that time. There you go. Authentic crew grand. Hope you like it, guys. Um, yeah, I, I believe the economy is going to get worse. Uh, situation is only going to get worse. I don't really trust what the British government are doing at the moment, uh, nor many governments around the world. I think they're making very, very bad decisions. I think the economy is going to get worse. If you want to just protect yourself, protect your family, buy, buy some gold. It doesn't need to be a huge amount. Obviously, there is the fear of confiscation and uh, things like that in, in the future. I mean, gold's been confiscated in the US, 1933. Gold's been confiscated in the UK, 1966. These things do happen. Um, so bear in mind, don't invest your life savings into it because the government may come with guns at your door and seize your gold. That is a risk. Um, but just for the purpose of today, you can easily authenticate gold or silver coins using an app on your phone. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like it, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video.